With us now from Post Up Careers, it is Franklin. Welcome again. How are you? Donna, thanks for having me back. It's good to see you again. We got really nice reviews from having you on talking about jobs. And I was like, okay, so the audience wants more. So come on back. Uh, so what's our topic today, Franklin? So we're talking about the difference or the differences between winning and losing in a job interview. Okay. And there are things that most people think about winning and losing in a job interview and they feel like it's this big thing that you have to do. But the reality is it's small details. It's the little details in your preparation that are going to separate you from others. Okay. And what are some uh, of those items? I'm sorry, say that again, Donna. You kind of cut out on me there. Oh, that's okay. And so, and what are some of those items? What can help us be winners? The first thing is preparation. Now, most people, when they're preparing for a job interview, will do all the preparation necessary. So if I was interviewing for a job with you, I would look you up on LinkedIn. I would research the Donna Drake show. I would look at your website. I'd watch some of your videos. 90% of people, in my experience, do that kind of preparation. What the preparation they don't do is the preparation on themselves. They okay. don't research themselves. And so when they get asked questions like, tell me about a time where you save money. Tell me about a time where you did this, that, and the other. They have very flat answers. And so what you need to do when you're interviewing for a job is come up with five, five stories to tell in an interview. That'll get you through an hour-long interview. And be prepared to speak to the who, what, when, where, how, and why of those stories. Okay. Um, you can uh, – the storytelling method is called the STAR, the STAR method, the situation, task, action, result. Covering all of those is the key to nailing those questions asked in a job interview. And that, therefore, you'll be a star. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so the follow. star method will make you a star. I love that, Franklin. One more time. What does star Situation. stand for? Situation. Action. Result. Fantastic. And you're right. A lot of times we will go uh, to a job interview. We learn a lot about the company. So we think we're going to tell them kind of what they already know about themselves. Exactly. More importantly is for us to have the answers about ourselves when we're asked. Nailed it. And the other key is starting the interview off right. Interviews, in one, interviews are won and lost in the first 90 and the last 90 seconds. Okay. okay. Make up ground if you stumble in the first little bit with your storytelling. Um, but the most common interview question that you're going to be asked is tell me about yourself. What most people do in that instance is then recite their resume. They give, like you just said, they're giving information that the company, the interviewer already has. Like I already know you graduated from X, Y, Z. We already know what your work experience is. Instead, think about who you really are, what you bring to the table. If somebody asked, who am I? I would say I'm a professional document. It's always been my job to connect the right talent with the right people. And so I take my knowledge of the hiring process and use that to help my clients tell their career stories. At no point did you get any of my recruiting experience, sales experience, any of that. It's, okay, here's information that you don't have. That's how you set the tone. How you close strong is by having good questions to ask at the end. Don't let all the positive momentum of nailing that, tell me about yourself, and then using that star technique to, to answer the interview questions go to waste at the end of the interviewer when they say, what questions do you have for me or do you have any questions for me? And then you say, no, I'm good. Well, Ask questions. Prepare nine questions ahead of time that you can then ask at the end. The reason why I say nine is because half of them will get answered throughout the duration of the interview. Well, Franklin, thank you for these uh, great tips today. And we'll have you back on uh, in the future. But thank you so much. So it's Post Up Careers. Post Up Careers. You can visit the website at postupcareers.com. Thank you, Franklin. I'll see you next month. Thanks, Donna.